Hello, welcome to another episode of Ukulele AMA. Today's question comes from Rudy. He says, hey Matt, I've got another AMA question. You mentioned you have performance anxiety. I do also. The more I've done and I've led jams, it helped my confidence. But for me, I'm afraid of making mistakes. Cynthia Lynn once told me, you are going to make mistakes and that's okay, we're human. So any advice on performance anxiety? By the way, I'd love to see you perform, but I completely understand if that's not your thing. So I just completed a trip to Hawaii where I had to do some performing and I was dreading it because I suffer from really bad performance anxiety as many other people do too. And the first thing I'm gonna tell you is that it's okay to have performance anxiety. There's nothing wrong with you for having it, just like there's nothing wrong with me for having it. And so if you're someone who suffers from performance anxiety, know that it's okay. But a few things kind of has helped me over the years with it. And uh, the first thing is a quote. I believe it was an Eric Whitaker quote, who's a, a composer. And somebody asked him, um, you know, we heard that you had really bad performance anxiety and how did you get over it? And I'm kind of paraphrasing here, but he said, oh, I never got over it. I never got over my performance anxiety. I rather just got very, very comfortable being in a state of utter terror. <laughs> and I love this quote because what it's telling you is that you're never going to beat your performance anxiety and that's okay. Rather than trying to get less anxious by performing, instead get more comfortable with that anxiety. You know, it's a really important mindset shift to know that you're going to be anxious, it's okay, how can I deal with it? And one way to get better with performing and performance anxiety is just to become more exposed to it. When I was first learning to drive, going to drive in downtown Seattle was just about the most stressful thing ever. But as I drove more there, I got more comfortable. I'm not necessarily less worried about someone hitting me or it being such a tight spot. I rather am just more comfortable in that situation. And so if you suffer from performance anxiety, putting yourself in that anxious position can actually help break it. It's not so much that you get over the anxiety, it's rather you just get comfortable with that anxiety. And again, I know I've said it three times already, but know that it's okay if you suffer from performance anxiety and there's no real way to beat it. A couple other ways though to help it, one is be really prepared with whatever it is you're playing. You know, if you're really anxious about performing something, then you need to be able to play that thing anywhere. If you just sit and practice in the same room, the same position, same way every time, as soon as you introduce any adversity, it's going to be really difficult. So try practicing in situations that cause some sort of adversity or some sort of anxiety. You know, maybe instead of playing just in your chair by yourself, go out to a park, sit at a bench and start playing. It's kind of performing, right? People might see you passing by, it might create a little of those, you know, butterfly nerves and that can help when you're trying to get more comfortable performing. It's really just creating those anxious opportunities and doesn't feel great, but you do get more used to it. And I'll tell you, I still have performance anxiety. I still have just as much anxiety every time I go perform, but I'm a little bit more comfortable and used to what that feels like. Another thing though is, you know, you mentioned Cynthia Lynn saying, uh, you're going to make mistakes. Brilliant, absolutely true, everyone makes mistakes. And know that when you are performing, people aren't watching something perfect. They're watching you and there's no one else that can do you. So whatever you're playing, whatever you're performing, any anxiety that you're feeling, let it be kind of within and know that no one else can do what you're doing right there because no one else is you. There's no one else quite like you. So anytime you're performing, know that you're the only person in the world that's capable of performing the way you perform. Even if that means a little bit of shakiness or whatever else, that's, you and that's okay i don't mean it's defining you i rather mean it's just a part of what you're doing in that moment there's another youtuber named adam neely who's got a great video on performance anxiety and he talks about taking that energy and redistributing it using some avatar the last airbender references but it's such a great idea of that energy that you're feeling you know just kind of use it and know that that's part of the experience of being human and part of you know, what's making that performance yours. So instead of buckling to it and giving in to that anxiety, kind of embrace it. Stand there knowing that that anxiety is with you. One more little thing is uh, Bill Hader, the comedian, has this great video talking about anxiety. And uh, one day he started to think of anxiety as like a monkey on his shoulder. <laughs> 
And I think about this all the time as someone who also struggles with anxiety. Um, and basically, once he starts feeling anxious, instead of trying to identify what's causing the anxiety, he rather just acknowledges the anxiety like a monkey sitting on his shoulder. It's not that going to take that test or going to make that performance is making you anxious as much as it's just you've got that anxiety with that thing. And so instead of trying to fight the anxiety of the monkey and the monkey starts throwing stuff at you or going nuts, it's rather just, hey, monkey, let's go do that thing together. In the case of performance anxiety, that little anxiety sitting on your shoulder, just say, hey, little anxiety monkey, let's go play a show. And I'm not sure how helpful this is for all of you, but it was very helpful for me. And again, this is just me passing along some of the wisdom I've gotten from other incredible creators and things like that over the years. But the gist of it is you'll never really get over your anxiety, but you can get more comfortable with it. And that's really what this video is about. So I hope this has been somewhat helpful. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And I hope that you get a little bit more comfortable with your performance anxiety. Take it easy.